this is my first time ever standing in front of a crowd at all. So I'm more nervous sitting up here. Um, I never really thought about doing comedy until recently. And then uh, when I met a friend, and she thought I should do it. And I was like, I wouldn't even know what to talk about. So she just thought, it, she just said, think about the most disturbing things in your life and tell about it. So I thought about the most disturbing part of my life. I was, uh, it might not even be funny, just disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, this is uh, going to be good for parents to know this. Because when I was six years old, it's uh, probably the year that it was the year I lost my innocence. Uh, parents, you know that dirty, dirty stuff you got? The pictures, the videos? Put that stuff away. <laughs> and, I, and I mean that. Because kids, they go through everything. Everything. If you've got, if you got it in your house at all, you're wrong. They're going to find it. They are. You know, you need a lot of that stuff up in the ground somewhere. But uh, I remember me and my brother, we were going through my parents' stuff. We went through the closet. And, you know, we are going through all these little whatnots. And we see this case right here in the middle of the closet. This little, this little metal case. So me and my brother grabbed it. We ran to our little room. And uh, we opened it up. And the first picture I see is my dad. <laughs> all right? He's laying back in the bed, you know, lay back with his big smile, big grin, his setting styles, porn star mustache going on, <laughs> naked, spread eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Not very good for a six year old to see. But we didn't stop there. We turned to the next book. There was a mom. Pregnant. <laughs> yeah. The daughter of glory. Not very nice. <laughs> Not very nice at all. Um, so yeah, parents like that. Uh, I was watching this thing on HBO. And you guys are probably going to like this. It's about what turns women on. On this late night shows, and uh, the part that got me was the smells that turn them on. Guys, you're gonna like this too. Girls, you're gonna find out you're pretty disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> One of the things was the first thing was, and this race, uh, your pheromone level is like about 5%, which I just gotta read because that's more than I can even do. And uh, it was the smell. Of a man's fart. <laughs> yeah. Raised about thermal clock, five percent. A man's fart has more chance of turning a girl on than I do on my own. There's a few more. It was the smell of a of a man sweating. There was more of a uh, smell of a man after he ejaculates. And this one was weird, this last one. It was a smell of a mixture between, and I don't even know why or how somebody came up with this, <laughs> but it was a smell of uh, licorice and cucumbers. Yeah, it, it raised like about 20% pheromone levels. And um, so I came up with a solution to turn women on. All right? In the morning, fix up a nice, gassy breakfast. <laughs> and then, you know, make sure you have this little bag of mixture with you, that cucumber, you know, licorice bag, and go for a run. And then when you run up to this girl that you think is cute or whatever, run up to her. Oh yeah, oh yeah, don't forget to ejaculate while you're running. <laughs> okay? So right before you get to her, And then, uh, <laughs> before you get to it, do that part, throw your stuff in her face, and you can't pedal. You can't. <laughs> 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 Sounding amazing. Yeah. 